Hello, I'm Taylor, and this is my hermit crab, Winter. If you want a hermit crab or you have a hermit crab, you should not keep you should not keep your hermit crab upside down, or you should not shake your hermit crab. And say if you're going on vacation for like three or four or five hours, I wouldn't recommend bringing your hermit crab because that because all the bumps on the road would make it scared. And if you want a hermit crab, you should always have a sponge in the cage. You need food. The sponge, that's what it drinks out of. And then you don't have to, but I have rocks. And I have four rocks in the corner. I'm in the corner. Because that's where it sleeps. And if you have a hermit crab, you need a shell that's the same size as the shell that's in right now. And you need a shell that's bigger than the shell that's in right now. And this, I wouldn't recommend like having a shell that, I mean, um, a cage that big. Mine's like that big. And this, the colorful stuff at the bottom here is gravel. You can have, gra you can't just leave it empty at the bottom. You need to have gravel or sand. And, um, you can decorate your, your, um, cage, like mine says, memory line and celebration. And if you have Play-Doh or clay, or modeling dough, or modeling clay, whatever you call it, um, never put it in the cage, because it, when it, because when it gets wet, that can kill them because the ink comes off and it dries really quickly. You no, know, like your hermit crab can go on it and then like ten minutes later it'll be dry and then your hermit crab can die from that. But you always need a spray bottle and you need food. That's really all you need to know. Bye.